hello there today i'm going to talk about something interesting and it's uh, this new 360 degree camera from samsung oh you may wonder what am i going to do with this camera it looks kind of weird if you look at it it's like a kind of ball and what's the difference between this camera and uh, this phone camera or the dslr on which i'm actually recording this video that's exactly what I, we are going to talk about today by now you may know that i love photography i love video recording i mean i did a filmmaking course and uh, during my final year when we were supposed to make a documentary i actually ended up making a feature film of 30 minutes long and feature film is a bit complicated than documentary because with documentary you just go shoot uh, the footage and then you come back and the put it together based on the script it's more it's very random and very spontaneous whereas with fiction you have to script everything and uh, there's no scope for missing anything or uh, making any mistake because if you lose the continuity if you if you did not record the dialogue that goes with the flow with the, with the story you miss the whole story so it was very complicated and but i loved working on that we were like shooting videos from different angles when two people are talking anyway i don't want to get into that but the point is that i i love uh, i love multimedia i um, am a hardcore you know writer and my kind of dream is to make films so i i love to play with these gadgets which um, kind of enhances my perspective how i look at things uh, the reason I got this camera was, uh, first of all, I am heavily into AR, VR, or mixed reality. As you can see behind me, there is a Sony PlayStation uh, VR sitting there, and you can also see that sword from Zelda. I 3D printed it, 3D printed it on my uh, fully open source 3D printer, and you can also see that Mario sitting there. That's also 3D printed, and uh, the tux. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to talk about that today. Today we are going to talk about this camera. So I, 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 I am very much interested in VR and AR and I very closely follow Robert Scoble. He's a very senior journalist who is covering mixed reality and he often take, you know, uh, videos and pictures uh, from a 360 camera and he uploads on Facebook. Now, the interesting thing is that when we take a picture or a video from this camera, all you see is what is in front of the camera, like the way you see me, uh, you see what's in front of the camera you have this this much frame that's all you can see you cannot see the surrounding recently i went to germany for open suze conference we lived in germany before so going back there was kind of nostalgic and so we went i went to nuremberg where the open suze headquarters are and i was i was taking pictures and there was a very famous castle right behind me so now, now the problem with me was if i take a selfie uh my selfie against the backdrop of a castle i miss everything that was in front of me and if i take every uh, my selfie against uh the castle then i'll miss the castles at the same time there was so much going on around there uh i wanted to capture everything but you, you just can't do it you know you can do those paranomic shot but that's still restricted that's when I was like, this is what I need. So the moment I came back from Germany, the first thing I did was I ordered this camera. I know 360 is in very early phase, but I wanted to just, you know, dive into the technology and see where it's heading. After using this camera, I'm telling you seriously, I don't like to take pictures with these regular cameras anymore. As they said in Matrix, you know, no one can be uh, told what Matrix is all about. You have to experience it yourself. So similarly, I cannot actually tell you what it feels to record with this camera unless and until you see the footage which as i said earlier i'll be hyperlinking in the in, in the comments below you can check it out so what happens is that everything that's around you get captured and all you do is you just swipe and you'll see every single thing from top to bottom from left to right everything that you see that's around you is captured here and um, it does a very I mean, I'm really kind of amazed the kind of work it does with stitching those two images because as you can see, it's there are two cameras, two very wide angle lens, lens cameras here. So they shoot two separate images or videos and then the software stitches it together. And the, what's interesting is that there is no kind of blind spot. The only blind spot is 
it's actually not that big is at the bottom because that's the whole uh, kind of stand there and sometimes you model a tripod other than that there is no blind spot in this uh, camera it is 4k camera but um, you know it's, it's more about glass than the the sensor so the quality is not the 4k quality but relatively it's because the image will be is so massive it's like 360 image so that's it's still you know you, you you can still enjoy and see it if the lighting conditions are good so I, I was at my friend's place where they were have celebrating birthday of their daughter and um, his wife was taking picture and videos of the cake cutting ceremony i put this camera at the center of the table and turn it on and left it there so after the, the the whole you know cake and everything was done when we looked at her picture it was just picture of the the daughter who was cutting the cake dad was out of the frame because he was you know clapping and cheering them up mom was shooting her so she could not take her own picture and they did not even get the reaction of the guests which were like all around her so yes you captured that one person but you missed almost everything else people had different reactions when i put this footage on my tablet and when i looked at it i was amazed because you can look everything that was in that frame and by frame i means all around the camera uh, in the video we saw her reaction as she was cutting the cake we could see how the dad was singing the song we could see how m mom was taking the pictures and we could see the reactions of her friends everything was captured and then what I do is I also have Samsung Gear VR when you put the VR on it looks like you're virtually in that moment you look around and you will see everyone around you so this is amazing I have never experienced anything like that before so if you're somebody who travels a lot and yes of course it's early stage so you don't really care about that quality but you you do want to relive those moments as they happen and you also don't want to miss anything then this is must-have camera oh yeah one thing more I, I just realized that when they were they, they had a water slide and they were like sliding my son was not he didn't want to get dirty because there was muddy so he was doing something else now i had put my dslr camera to shoot the whole water sports and i also had my spark drone which was now recording everything from from you know high attitude but my son was not participating in that kind of you know fun he was doing something else once again i touched the mic he was doing something else but the main camera missed everything because he was behind the camera but this one captured everything so i could actually uh, because you can use if you're on the pc you can use your mouse and follow person if you're the vr you can just turn your head around if you're on the phone you can use the most motion sensor and look around so i was able to actually follow my son and I, I could see everything that he was doing he was driving his uh, remote control car I have Traxxas cars so he was driving those cars so I did not miss anything because while they were doing their water sports which you can already see because captured in 360 but you can also see what other people are doing you can see how they are the grilling how they're eating food they're talking to each other you can f it's just amazing so ever since I use this camera I have I really don't like to shoot anything with that big camera yes I, I sh take a lot of portraits and a lot of other things and videos like these I wish I could take video that video with this camera but I really don't like to shoot anything from that anymore I, I kind of feel suffocated that I can't see what's happening around I can only see what the camera so it's more like suffocating that you cannot see what was going on there so, so if you're someone you know who really really travels a lot and you want to capture those valuable moments i think this is the best camera uh, that you can get it's very cheap it's like only 200 dollars and it has i think four mode uh, one is you get picture mode where you take a picture and it's 360 pictures so you can you know just rotate and see everything that is in the picture i mean if you have seen uh, google street view you you know what i mean so you can go outside take a picture and everything around you it's captured second is video mode where you capture everything in 360 video so as you do things exports you can you know look around and see what was going on third is video looping where you can set a time like half an hour or whatever and it will uh, you know make a loop of the uh, by loop I means that um, I mean that it will record 30 minutes and then it will start overwriting uh, that video 
I don't know what is the purpose of it unless and until you are live streaming or something like that but you can do live stream which I'll talk about later and then there is HDR picture so you can put in HDR mode and it will capture you know a lot of images and they'll stitch it together in you know with high dynamic range though once again I said you know since the glass is small you don't get that much depth and detail it's it's, it's, it's an early phase but these are the four features that you get from this camera you can also stream live on YouTube, Facebook, and Samsung VR, where people can wear their VR gear and watch everything, which also means that uh, you can use it with Samsung's 360 app, which is available on both Android and iPhone. The only problem is that on iPhone, you cannot live stream on Facebook if I'm not wrong. I have not. I mean, I had iPhone 7, but I kind of upgraded to Samsung Galaxy S8 because of the VR. I'll be getting the next iPhone, so I'll check. I have not tested it on my wife's phone, but uh, uh, that's the only thing that if you are a Samsung user, then you can live stream 360. Other than that, Actually, I don't like to live stream. I live stream twice and the problem was that where I was, the, the internet connectivity, I was on a cellular network and the speed was not very good. So it captured video and streamed it in a very low uh, uh, quality. It was not high definition video. The video was saved on Facebook, but it's very, very low quality where you will, won't enjoy the video. So I, what I do is I usually live stream only for like first like one minute so that people know what's there immediately but rest of video i record it on the device so that i get you know in full quality once you have recorded the video on this device you can pair it with the, your uh, phone or tablet and then all the stitching is done by the software itself there is a software for pc but i have not had any success with it i so i prefer you just open the app on your phone and pair with the device over bluetooth and then you download the video to your device and it stitches the video and image together so it becomes a 360 image if you just simply copy the image from the device to your pc without stitching it on the software you will not get a 360 image you will get just two images one shot from this camera and one shot from this camera so that is not going to work so always stitch it together now what is there for linux users the good news is that um, while if I'm not wrong, if when I tried on Windows, Windows can play, Windows Media Player can play 360 videos by default. You don't have to install anything separate. On Mac OS, QuickTime doesn't do that. And VLC doesn't do that either because I use VLC mostly. But there is a new version of VLC for 360 playback. It's in the beta phase, which is available for both Windows and Mac. So you can download that app and watch 360 videos. For Linux, yes that's available but you have to compile it yourself and today when i was trying since i think there's some maintenance going on in OpenSUSE, so i was not able to test whether 360 um, app, vlc app is available on OpenSUSE yet or not other than that you have to compile it and i'm sure that it's available on uh, arch linux very easily you can do that but uh, i have not tried in linux i have tried on mac and windows and it works great as far as uh, editing is concerned, uh, I mostly use my Mac for video editing. So Adobe F Premiere, it supports 360 editing. You can very easily edit the video, enhance the quality, do everything that you do, and then you know just the export the media as a VR or 360 video. Then you can easily upload it on YouTube and it will automatically detect that it's 360 video and you can easily play back on YouTube. I will put a link of one video that I uploaded. Now for Linux, uh, as far as I am uh, aware, I think KDN Live is capable of um, editing 360 videos, but I have not tried it yet. I'll be trying it. I just got this recently and I have not really spent much time in editing you know, 4K videos on Linux yet because I use Mac mostly for video editing. I use Linux for everything else. So I have not tried it, but if you are a hardcore Linux user and you want this camera, then there is a possibility of editing it or you know, using, viewing your camera footage on Linux. Now how to transfer it? It's Android so it's very easy. You just plug the device and uh, copy it. But as I said I would suggest first 
um, the best way is copy the devices to your phone which with the app where the phone will stitch it together and then plug your phone to your Linux system and simply copy those videos and enjoy in 360 so if you're somebody who is really interested in the in, in getting into 360 or VR I mean it, it, it's very early kind of basic experience of VR we feel that you can look everything around when you wear the 360 glass not 360 but VR glass this is a very good um, uh, it's entry-level device to get into 360 videos um, but VR is not just about 360 videos and I think in the next episode I will talk about VR AR mixed reality and whatnot but anyway for this time uh, this video is all about this camera so if you're interested I would heavily recommend getting this camera and just give it a try and I'm telling you once you go 360 you never go back to the uh, regular cameras once again, thanks for watching and I'll most probably um, upload a video so that you can enjoy it. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.